One of the project aims for 23C database was to make the barrier to entry much lower for the novice. And in particular, if you've just installed the Oracle 23C database and the database is up and running, probably the first thing you're going to want to do is create a user. And in the past, that has not been the easiest thing. It seems easy, but there's been a few obstacles, which often has confused people who are new to the Oracle database. Let's explore the simple example. In current versions of the database, if I want to create a developer, for example, I'll jump on and I'll create a user here called Jane Doe, and she's identified by Jane Doe. Please do a better password than that, but this is just a simple for example. And then, okay, I've created the user. Let's see if we can connect. And immediately, it becomes a little bit of a, a quandary for a new user. I just created the new user account for this person, and yet I can't even connect. In Oracle, we've always been very security conscious. And one of the maxims or one of the mantras behind security consciousness is always the principle of least privilege. And we apply that across the board, not just to database objects, but to database users as well. By default, you get no privileges. And the ability to even connect to your database is a privilege. And so by default, even when you've created a new user, you can't even connect to the database. Now that's great from a security perspective, but it's a little bit confusing and perhaps frustrating to someone who's just getting started with Oracle and they find themselves facing this situation. As most of us know, what you'll then do is you would log on as an administrator and you would give the create session privilege to Jane Doe. Now she'll be able to connect to the database. And you might be thinking, well, that's the end of it. She's now good to go. But of course, the first thing Jane is going to do is now try to create a table and she's going to encounter an insufficient privileges message. Once again, a little bit bewildering. I can connect to the database, but I can't do anything. Yes, it's great having security lease privileges, but we want to be able to make it easier for people to get up and running with the Oracle database. To make things easier in 23C, we now have a inbuilt role called the developer role. So once you've created the user, all you have to do is grant the developer role to that new user, and that's going to give them just about everything they need to get up and running with the Oracle database without having too many issues in terms of privileges, etc. If I now connect as Jane Doe and run a query select star from session privileges, you can see what the developer role gives you by default. It pretty much gives you all the stuff you would need to start building applications in the Oracle database. Create table, create function, create view, etc., etc. Pretty much everything you would need is good to go just by granting the developer role. One thing I will note is one thing we still do not do in there is give them quota to use space in the database. So you might still need to give them a quota on a table space to make sure they can actually consume space on the database. But other than that, they are good to go and a much easier way of managing privileges for people who are new to the Oracle database. Now, having a new developer role is all well and good, but you might be thinking, what about my existing scripts on my existing databases? Probably the most common grant we do for developers on our databases is we would typically do grant connect and resource to those developer accounts. That means that if I now take other accounts in 23C and give them the developer role, I might have a discrepancy between those privileges. And we can see what the issue might be here. Let me connect to my 21C database. And if I query DBA sysprivs for the resource role, you can see it's just got a small amount of privileges, not the same as we saw in the developer role. However, in 23C, we've made some adjustments to that role. If I now connect to my 23C database and I run the same query, I'll select the privileges from DBA sysprivs for the resource role, we can see we've extended that as well. So what happens now is if you grant connect and resource in 23C to your developers, they're going to get something fairly similar to the developer role. There's going to be a much closer alignment. In that way, you're not going to have to worry too much about discrepancies. But probably the easiest way is simply shift those scripts to become the developer role, and that'll be your single point going forward.